the Congo, one of the largest and richest tropical forests on Earth. Lying at Africa's heart, it nurtures our planet, giving us rain. And at its heart is an enigmatic giant. In this film, we explore how the forest elephant helps sustain one of the life-giving wild places of our world. People have this idea that tropical forests are jungles and really thick. And yet once you pass the edge, it feels like you're in a big green cathedral. And some people get some spiritual uplift from that. The thing about tropical rainforests is the diversity of trees that you see there. You almost never see two trees of the same species next to each other, and that's what shocks you. In any tropical rainforest, the diversity of species that make up the forest is a fundamental characteristic. It makes the whole system more resilient to variation and to disturbance. Between three quarters and 95% and of tropical forest tree species depend on animals to disperse their seeds. And they do that by wrapping the seed in a nice little tasty packet, what we call fruit. And the, the biggest seed dispersal agent of all is the elephant. What's great about forest elephants is that they have the ability to eat like, virtually every fruit nut out there. And because they have such poor digestion, most of those seeds pass through their guts untouched. In fact, it's better than that. When it comes out, it has its own packet of fertilizer ready to grow on. Elephants eat more seeds of more species of trees and carry them further than any other animal. And we're used to the idea that animals shouldn't breed with their close relatives. It's the same for plants. So it's really helpful for the health of the forest to have an animal that carries seeds further. Without the forest elephant, the diversity of trees in these tropical forests absolutely goes down. Rainforests don't just receive rain, they make it. The water vapor that rises from forests goes into the atmosphere and is distributed around the world. So the whole planet is benefiting from Africa's forests. We know the forests are important and we know something about how they function, but there are quite a lot of pieces missing in our understanding of what exactly will change if we lose any one piece. I think what people have to understand is that a forest is more than trees. It's a whole interrelationship of animals and plants and fungi. So elephants and forests are part of the same thing. And if we lose the elephants, the forest will change, and for the worse. Mega gardeners tending the forests that give us rain. Forest elephants, part of the intricate web of relationships that is the power of nature. <laughs>